Hello, and thank you for stopping by My Beer Quest once again. I uh, can't wait to uh, tell you about this next beer, because I, I've been actually been wanting to uh, feature this one for a while. Uh, I've had it a couple times, but it's, it's been on um, draft, never had it from the bottle, so it's the first time I've had it from the bottle. And uh, a lot of the other guys talked about it, and told me how good it is, and on the uh, package I believe it said possibly the best IPA in America, which uh, I can't wait to see because I really like uh, IPAs. Although I have had it on, on tap before, it's been uh, very good. So this is a uh, Dogfish Head Imperial IPA. So uh, I can't wait to uh, try this because uh, you know when I've had it on tap, I've, I've had several other beers, and it's hard to tell when you're uh, drinking uh, different beers. Um, just how good one is without um, when you've had other beers before it. Uh, this one I've had uh, read and heard a lot about. I have uh, Sam's book here. Uh, it's a um, homebrew book. This is actually one of the best um, books for homebrewing I've seen. I wish they had this book out when I started homebrewing. Because, um, to tell you the truth, the book I had when I first started homebrewing was kind of horrible. <laughs> and the internet wasn't really <laughs> that great yet. Um, and the information out, out there nowadays is just wonderful, you know. That's, um, so, um, and I believe I did see the recipe for the 60 Minute in this book as well. So I know they sell this book, I think it's exclusively from Barnes & Noble, if you want to check it out. Like I said, it's a very good book, and there's the recipe for the 60 Minute. So. So, like, uh, yeah. And also, actually, in the, uh, looks like he's drinking the 60 minute right there. Very good book. So, let's get back to the beer. Uh, very nice cap. I like the, uh, I, I like the dogfish head sort of uh, stuff. About that, yeah. Let's see here. It says on the label what you have here is Imperial India Pale Ale featuring a single constant 90 minute hop addition. It's balanced by a ridiculous amount of English two row barley. Then we dry hop it in every tank. So it's a dry hop. It's also 9% alcohol per volume. Very, uh, that's a whole lot. That's double some beers. So I've read somewhere when I'm normally having an IPA, normally have it in a uh, mug, but I read somewhere um, that this particular one is best enjoyed in a uh, snifter type glass, which I have myself here, a, a tulip glass here, to uh, enjoy it in. Ooh. Oh, you're getting that fantastic, um, like, hoppy smell to it. It's, it's not an no, overwhelming um, hoppy smell, but uh, kind of uh, fruity and citrusy. Um, you know, real floral uh, aroma to it. Wow, that that is a wonderfully balanced IPA. Uh, it is probably one of the best <laughs> I've had. Um, really, uh, really need to compare it to um, Pliny the Elder is like one of my favorites. I, it's very yeah, it's close to that. I need to get a better um, comparison. Hmm. Well, I, I know I know all the other guys have talked about this one. You know, Jay and Chad. And, I'm a so fat and um, fish brew. You guys have all told me how great this uh, was, and you're not you're not kidding. This is a very wonderful, wonderful IPA. Yeah, like I 
like I said, so it has like kind of a fruity uh, taste to it. Very nice balance. Very wonderful. Um, it's, and it's, it's not an overwhelmingly, you know, hit you in the face kind of hop. It's a very well balanced hop to it. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this one tonight. Um, yeah. So, until next time. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Enjoy your beer. Here. Speaking of dogs, I still have some dogs here. <laughs>